These are genomic markers that, are at, that have come out in the past couple of years. Uh, uh, prostate cancer markers, I call them, um, have made uh, are, are one of the more exciting things that are out there in prostate cancer right now. I mean, we, we have a, a lot of challenges with overdiagnosis and overtreatment of prostate cancer. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that we're overtreating and overdiagnosing a lot of people. So, uh, hence the need for markers to help us determine um, who would benefit from treatment and who could be watched. So we're not overtreating a lot of people. And then there's another marker that's out there that is called Confirm MDX, which is a marker that looks at something called epigenetic or changes around the cancer so that the biopsy comes back negative uh, what this does is give us the ability to look at sort of a, a toxic waste zone around where a cancer was so you can extend the, the biopsy and it can tell you it, it's, if, the, if it comes back negative, the chances of you having cancer are very low. The negative predictive value is like 90%. Um, so you know we have markers in lots of new buckets now that help us. One, uh, who to biopsy, uh, and we have things like we've used PSA, but now we have 4K tests and we have PHI and things like that. We have uh, ones on who to rebiopsy, and so that's bucket number two, and that's this MDX, confirmed MDX methylation test. And then we have bucket number three is who to treat. And uh, this is where I've been focusing a little bit of the, the, the stuff we've been talking about, and that's this Prolaris test that helps you uh, sort of direct low-risk, intermediate-risk patients to, we can watch this or you need to be treated.